help reduce okay. your requested variance because okay. I think it's going to help you in the aesthetic okay. sense as well. All right, that's great. So, so the applicant's willing then to shift the pool four feet toward the front of the house, right? Thus changing then 28.5 feet to 32.5 feet and a variance of 17.5 feet versus 21.5 feet. And then, Mr. Cruz, also, uh, you said you're going to move the shed or remove it? Uh, I'm either going to remove it or move it. I haven't decided yet. It's an old shed, so I'm most likely going to take it down. The one with the metal roof? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a bit of an eyesore, and uh, I prefer to, you know, I, I actually, I'll be back next month for variance for a garage, so, uh, you know, let me just, you know, if I, I, I keep writing checks, so it's just like, uh, you Point know, but it's time. a good thing. Well, I just wanted to tell you, if you do move it, just yeah. if, yeah. if you move it any closer to yeah. the property yeah. line, then. Yeah, I, I clearly will not do that. I, I, it's more, it's more of I would probably move it to the other side, closer to the house, because as is, I don't even like. If you saw where it, the entrance is towards my neighbor, and I just <laughs> try to get a tractor up there, is you know, it, it's a challenge as is. So I would definitely move it more front and more accessible yeah and yeah. and i have no problem with the aesthetics yeah. myself it's yeah. just a matter if you did move it oh, yeah, yeah. Accepted. yeah trust me i yeah, that yeah. would definitely not be where i would have placed it. some topography yeah. to deal yeah. with there okay. as well is the uh, proposed garage location impacting your decision with the uh, pool location i'm sorry it, is the proposed garage location impacting no, where not at all where, where you're thinking so like it, at the end of the, the drive other, the other side of the house towards okay. the front so away from the septic so i'll come back with and good plans be on a that discussion for another yeah, yeah absolutely <laughs> okay. so just for the record and for your knowledge if this is granted tonight with the change to 32 feet you will have to provide a new grading plan okay. to show the change understood okay any other questions no is there any questions anybody in the audience have any questions uh for the applicant or comments i, I my name is john Boyle. No, sir uh, oh, oh. come on up <laughs> Yeah, go, please step at the microphone. Just say your name and address, please. Sure, thank you. Uh, my name is John Burrell. I'm at 7 UJ Terrace. Uh, we, we border, he borders my backyard. And um, I just met Victor recently and we talked about what he's trying to do. I don't have any problem what, he, what he's doing. I have a pool myself for many years. Um, the only question I had was, um, if he was putting a patio area in uh, where his pool was going in, my only concern was how close would that be then to the property line. Right. And I had asked him about mm -hmm. that, and I didn't really get a good answer. And I don't think he, I don't think he was being evasive. I don't think maybe he really knows no, just yet. Know yet. Right. Yeah. Right. So I just came tonight for information and a scope of work as to what was going on. Well, if, if we do, you know, proceed as we uh, just stated, that, that pool, I imagine, was getting out further away from your property, right? Because you're in his rear yard. Right. Yeah. Correct. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So right. just for the record, um, pavers or whatever other material he uses around the pool is considered landscaping. It technically can go up to the property line. There's no setback to landscaping. But he is putting up a fence. So, yeah, you know, I just found that out today. He said something about a six-foot fence along the property right, line. Yes. So, okay. When you put a fence up, um, for your, for, for, just for information for myself too, uh, what is the, is it so many feet from the property line of your neighbor and the better side's got to show your neighbor? So a fence does not need a permit. It must be on your property line, including the post. It doesn't have to be set in. And most of the new fences are PVC or, or a fence that doesn't have a good side, bad side, right. except the stockade. And we don't have a rule as far as good side, bad side. Oh, That's so stockade could be either way, too. It could be whoever okay. the person Okay, That's what I wanted to know for information. That was the only question I had. I, I think it's great. His family man like to have a pool. Uh, and I just wanted to check it out and find out what I could find out tonight. Sure. Sure. I appreciate you Thank you. Yes, thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thanks for the comments. Okay, so we had no further comments from the, the board or the audience. Could I have a motion, please, to close the public hearing? Motion to close. Mm -hmm. Can I have a second? All, set. All in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. 
All right. Can I have a motion, please, then, to grant or deny the applicant the variance, please? I'll make a motion to grant the variance for the change of variance to 32.5 feet. <clears throat> the requested variance will not produce an undesirable change or character in the neighborhood. There will be no substantial detriment created to nearby properties. There is a, other feasible methods available, but I don't think it would be wise to move it any further up into the yard because then you're getting too close to the road. Uh, the requested variance is, is substantial, but still, again, it's, it's a good placement for the pool and the property. Um, the proposed variance will not have an adverse effect or impact on physical and environmental conditions in the neighborhood or district, and uh, the alleged difficulty is self-created, but I do believe that we should grant him the... Okay. Can I have a second, please? Second. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Roll call, please, B. Yes to the 32 and a half foot. Mr. Yes. Yes. Mr. Mm -hmm. Mr. Uh, no. Yes. Thank you. Your variance has been granted, uh, slightly amended. Thank you. Okay. Right. And as Barbara mentioned before, you'll have to, uh, okay. you know, uh, submit a new grading plan. I'll have it this week. Thank you, sir. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're free to go. All right. Next up on the agenda tonight is appeal number 217736, Dennis Barnhart. Oh, I got it right last time. Yeah, you got it right last time. <laughs> seeking in, <laughs> seeking in a variant section 24037 of district regulations in an R40 zoning district where 50 feet is required to the rear yard property line. The applicant can provide 12.9 feet for the construction of a 28 by 28 garage with storage, thus requesting a variance of 37.1 feet. The property is located at 79 Pine Ridge Drive and is identified as tax grid number 615704892012 in the town of Wappinger. Can I have a motion please to open the public hearing? Make a motion to open the public hearing. Can I have a second? Second. All mm -hmm. in favor? Uh, Aye. So moved. Okay, Dennis. For the board's benefit, anybody who's listening in, do you please describe what you need and why you need it? Okay. Uh, I'm seeking a variance of 37.1 feet to the rear property line for the construction of an addition to my existing house um, of a garage with storage. Uh, I have a very unique shaped property, as, uh, as you guys can see from the survey, um, and this is the only option I have for RIC that I have for the uh, creation of the garage. Got you. Now, I know you guys are out there on Saturday. I actually happened to sneak in there yesterday. I apologize if, uh, if I alarmed anybody. Uh, you certainly have a unique uh, set of circumstances with the property. Yeah, that's for sure. I see how you had everything. You had the lines painted out on the driveway yep. for the corners of, of the addition. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the property certainly uh, is unique, be that the, the, the you know, rear yard, front yard. We do run across that in the town occasionally. Uh, I, I, I mean, I saw the pr footprint. I see what you got going on there. I see what you're up against, literally. Uh, if you guys have been, any other questions or concerns uh, for, uh, for Dennis? Just, Dennis, when we were out there, we were wondering why you were set, offsetting the garage from the house about four feet mm -hmm. and not making it square on the house. Uh, because of the greater the, the, the land come down on the bottom of the hill and the amount of rainfall I get, I okay. did just remove a tree, but we were concerned with the water divergence. So okay. there is a irrigation system going underneath the slab to divert the water from that half of the house, from that half of the addition out past to the back of the house. Yeah. That's the reason for the offset. I, I think I said something about water, right, when yeah. we were out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got, you got plenty of topography to deal with there as well. <laughs> I, I, I think, too, it's probably, you know, offset, and it's going to help you out with your roof lines as well. So it's the water coming down the hill you're worried about? Not down the hill. I, I, so the town did a great job with that little curb lip on the road, so I don't get water there as much as I get at the end of the driveway. Mm -hmm. It's more the direct rainfall and, and with the coverage I have, the roof takes the brunt of it. So that water on the top side of the house or the front of the house. And so you're talking about your downspout from the main, yeah, from so the existing the house? the collection and the rain collection from the trees, because yeah. the trees, whatever the trees collect, 
come down onto the roof. It's just the way it's a, just the way the, the land allows. Yeah, and it's really said that the offset's going to help you out with your, your, you know, your roof offsets. Yeah, you know. and there'll be a cricket there from the downside of the, uh, right. the garage, the addition yeah. to the house. Getting it to blend exactly is tough sometimes. Um, yeah, the 17.4, is that an existing nonconformance? Yeah. Or, okay, so this, this house wasn't pre. So this house is illegal nonconforming, but what was the year it was built? 82. It was 82. So I'd have to look at why, but maybe because of the type of property, they might have even had a variance back then to fit a house at the time. Yeah. Yeah, very, uh, I'm not 100%, but talking to some of the neighbors, when that area was one property or owned by one person, they had built houses before they separated it out and sold off property. So I don't know if that's how it happened or when it happened. Well, Locust Drive being, un we have a lot of unimproved uh, roads that will never get built, but at the time that these subdivisions went in in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, they created this for someday, and it doesn't look like someday is ever going to happen. So we're looking at a lot of them in different ways. Um, but for this house, I don't think it would have been subdivided and then a r an improved road put behind it that close. So this had to have happened prior to zoning, and the house must have gotten some sort of a a variance. It, would that existing variance allow for the garage to be 17.4 feet off the property line without a new no, variance? No, anything you do, you can build a house anytime, but anything new has to meet today's the code of the day. So if we change the code and made it even more restrictive and in five years he came to, I don't know, he had a deck, he'd meet a variance. Hmm. If he wanted to put an addition on the <coughs> other side. So every time you do something, you have to meet that code. Understood. Mm -hmm. I think what Dave was getting at was that if we could move, you know, if we could change where it was located a little bit, just to take shave off some of the amount of variance, even though your property is very difficult. So I, I looked at aligning it too, or offsetting it towards the aesthetic back of the house, which would be technically the front of the house. But the bedrock slab comes down right there, so we wouldn't have enough without drilling in uh, before we hit the actual bedrock. So he did. Uh, the contractor did. Uh, uh, I don't know what's called, like ultrasound depth. Boring. And the bedrock is not deep enough, mm -hmm. nor is it. He wasn't comfortable going down and drilling in or pinning it to the bedrock because it would be so shallow if we shifted it over. That's That and the water divergence is the reason we offset it the way we did. He would yeah. also need a front yard variance if he shifted it yeah. towards the front. <laughs> so then he'd need two. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's pretty pretty unique. I, said I can see that. Any other questions? Yes. Actually, just to uh, Barb, if they decided to do away with the unimproved road that goes through there, would he have the first right to purchase that property? It depends what the town wanted to do. Okay. I'm I just wondering do, because We'd have to look back on the deeds and the purposes. Just because it matter how it would change his property right. as to what it exists now. I mean, if someone else could buy that, they could build something basically in the area you've been mowing. <laughs> Yeah. So that, that's like 50 feet. <laughs> so the only two people that would have any interest or any value to it be him, him or the right. other neighbor. Yeah. The other neighbor has a lot of land. And so it, it looked like a lot of woods between him right. and his neighbor. A lot of woods. So, yeah. There is. Exactly. That's it. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Anybody in the audience uh, speak, comment, any questions uh, for this application? Right, so the record show no more comments. Can I have a motion, please, to close the public hearing? I'll make a motion to close. Second. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Uh, can I have a motion now, please, to grant or deny the applicant the variance? Make a motion to grant. It's a unique site, as you said, and uh, I, I think the addition of that, that bedrock and uh, the water issues help your argument. Uh, in terms of the location. Um, I don't think the benefit can be achieved by any other means. It's not an undesirable change in the neighborhood. Um, it is a substantial request. It will not have any adverse environmental effects. It is self-created. Okay, you have a second, please. I'll second. All right, roll call, B. Yes. 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 All right, your motion has been granted. Thank you. You'll hear from the building department in a few days.
Have a good night. All right, next up on the agenda is a discussion. Appeal number 217737, Oscar Fernandez seeking an area variance section 24037 of district regulations in an R20 zoning district where 20 feet to the side yard right property line is required. The applicant can provide 12 feet for the legalization of an existing 18 foot by 20 foot rear deck, thus requesting a variance of eight feet. The property is located at 22 Lake Onead Drive on 0.45 acres and is identified as tax grid number 6257013908892 in the town of Wappinger. Hello there, sir. Joe. Name, please, and address for the record. Gotcha. All right, so brief description, please, of what you need and why you need it. That? Just a brief description of what you need and why you need it. Oh, because of the variance for the stack between me and my neighbor? Mm hmm And this is an existing porch, correct? Yeah. An existing deck. This is not existing, a new deck. Right? Existing rear deck. Like that? The, the, the deck's at the back, right? It's not this open porch we're talking about. I oh. can't see the... Uh, on the survey? You're talking about a deck at the back of the property, right? Yeah. Can I look at that one? Uh, sure. Yeah. Like, is this rough where I, where I kind of dash there? Is that, is that the, roughly the deck location? The deck we're talking about is in the back, is in the back here, yeah. not on the survey. The deck does not show here, right? It's not shown on the survey, right? I don't know. I mean, it's a, I, I'm just going off the built? plot plan, right? It's, it says rear yard. Where was it built? The survey is right. from 09. Okay. okay. How long ago did he build the yeah. deck? How long ago did you build the deck? Oh, about 10 years. 10 years. Yeah, so it was okay, so it wouldn't be on the survey? And so oh, yeah, from, from Okay, so this is what we're talking about, is 12 feet. Right cool. And she's also about 12 feet. She had a okay. Okay. The property. So it's 18 by 20. Gotcha. Side, about 25 feet. Gotcha. Yeah, but actually from your property to your house or deck has to be like 25 feet. If, right. if neighbor has 50 feet, it does not help. It's only the property line to your house or your net distance. That's what right. normally required. If they have uh, 25 feet or 50 feet, it does not help to say that. So the Maybe. deck is set in slightly from the edge of the house. The house is closer to the property line? Because the house, the house, is, at, the house is 10 deck. feet. Right. The house is actually, the, the side of the house is actually lined up on the side of the deck. Right? The side of the house is 25 feet from the property line. Uh, no, okay. this side yeah. is Here, so this house is only like 10 feet. Like 12 feet. 10 feet, 10. The survey says 10. Yeah, the survey says 10 feet. To the house. Property line. To the house. The house and the property line right. is 10 feet from the survey. And here, when we are asking for 12 feet, the question is if this is the 10, how this can be to that? Well, I'm going by the survey that you guys do. It shows the deck is right in line with the side of the house with the survey that you guys gave me says 12 feet. And I know the property oh. I measured from my house to my neighbor's house right. is 25 feet. Yeah, because yeah, that's that your that doesn't Oh, help. from your house to neighbor. Okay, no, gotcha. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Right. That does not help, but I think the property line we need to know from property line. Right. Okay. It, it just seems like if the deck is aligned with this, the, 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 you're actually asking for 10 feet, not 12 feet, which impacts all of the paperwork. Right. Because it's it's a greater variance. 
Right. I'm just looking at this thing that I gave you, which is did four we? feet from my side oh. of the house to my property. What survey did we? Uh, which is in line with my side. Did this one given by? No, I mean, yeah, one different. I had one. Yeah. This could be your survey. Different one. Yeah. 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 What we have filed in the town last time. When we were I mean, it could be that it's a slight angle. I it mean, could be. 2009. Mm -hmm. right? Right. And that time, this skewed to give you two yeah. feet. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so it's all two feet. feet. I think it's 10. Oh, I, I he thought he had 12. He applied for 12. Oh, okay. this, this is what you drew, right? Uh, okay, here. This is what you drew? So this is what you drew? Oh, I so they always look like okay, right, good. So let's see that one more time. Of a couple of so okay. here it says twelve feet. Mm -hmm. So who who did the twelve feet here? I, 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 okay, but see here it says ten feet. So we go by this. If somebody does that survey, mm -hmm. that's the correct one. We believe when you or I do it, it may not be correct because we just assumed my property line here or here. Hey, we, we just want to make sure you're gonna, you're asking for the right, right variance because it was good. Right, right. If, if we grant 12 and you actually needed 10, you're going to have to do this all again. No, I right. understand that. I, I don't know where I have 12 feet because I have <laughs> one, of the, one of the blueprints I have, I don't have with you guys, that also said. Oh, like the original house blueprint or something? Right. That's, who, the, that's why who knows if the contractor... Right, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, so the, yeah, the 2009 survey will trump everything right. because that's the most current survey. Right. Yeah. So, so should, should we assume he's asking for, for 10? 10, it, according to this, so when he first brought it in and he said 12, it looks like on the plot plan it might be, there's like a little bit left on the house so it could have been moved in. Mm -hmm. But seeing that he's saying here on the record that it's in line with the edge of the house, I would say it's 10 feet from the property line okay. and he needs a 10 foot variance. He's in an R20. Yes, mm -hmm. so that, that's right. Okay. And we can adjust the records as such. Right. And, right. and we're going to do a site. And we're going to do a site. And we're going to do five feet. So, right. so we, can, two, we can change the public hearing notice. Right. 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 But that's right. not the way we look at it. The way we look at it is right from property line. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a site visit. We're going to come to your home, and we're going to check this out and see exactly what you got going on. Okay. All right, we're going to set that up for not this Saturday, but the following Saturday, um, which would be September 11th. Okay, right. Bill, can I just tell you, this yes. is a bi-week month. Okay. This Saturday is the 28th. The following Saturday is Labor Day weekend, the 4th. And November 11th is three Saturdays right. out, just gotcha. so that... Thank you. You're all okay. on the same page. So, so we're going to do that site visit on the 11th. Okay. And okay. I also, also show you the blueprint that I got from the town. Sure. So Sir, you guys, when I if you're not at the microphone, no one I'm else can hear you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Yes. Good suggestion, John. I watched too many of <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, okay. So we're going to set up a site visit for September 11th, which actually three Saturdays out. Okay. We'll be at your home at approximately 9 o'clock. Okay. All right. We'll be there. Would be great if you could locate that property line for us. You know, mm -hmm. either, either paint it, flag it, tag it, somehow that side property line, so we can identify it and see its relationship to the house. Okay. okay. And uh, so we will be there on the 11th of September, nine o'clock. We're going to set a public hearing date for September 14th. So you'll have a public hearing here on September 14th. We'll be at your home September 11th. Okay, thank you. Okay? Thank you. All right, good. Thank you. Good night. So, just in relation to this, uh, I'm, I'm not clear. Is it 10 feet or is it 12 feet? We're going to know when we go out here. Yeah. We don't know yet. So we have to physically go look at it. Correct. So but we're going to gonna change the paperwork to 10 feet because right. that's what it appears to be. If for some reason it's less, you can, we can change that at the public hearing. We just yeah. can't make it more, so right. I'd rather err on what most likely he needs. Right. It'll, it'll be obvious that if it aligns to the house, it's 10 feet, right. I mean, for the survey. Right. That's another house that beginning. was probably built before zoning. Only, the only question is, do, do, do we able to see the property line? So that's why I don't, I don't know. 
said about two years to him. So we have to go by our judgment for We'll find out. Yes, right. I'm just going to. All right. Next up on the agenda tonight. Excuse me one second. Would be appeal number, uh, is a uh, discussion, appeal number 217738, Neil Ryan Glazer, seeking an area variance sections 240-30 and 240-37 of district regulations in an R40-80 zoning district where no more than two accessory buildings shall be permitted in any one family resident district, the applicant is proposing three accessory buildings, where no accessory building shall have a footprint greater than 600 square feet, nor a height in excess of 20 feet. The applicant is proposing construction of 3,200 square feet pole barn with a 12 foot lean to with heat and electric for storage of tractor and farm equipment. The pole barn would be 40 feet by 80 feet. Therefore, the applicant is seeking a 2,600 square foot variance. The property is located at 41 Dydell Road and is identified as tax grid number 6359032743312 in the town of Wappinger. Hello, sir. Hi. For the uh, record, please, your name and address. My name is Neil Blazer, but I'm the back. Gotcha. He had work tonight and couldn't get off. Oh, gotcha, so, gotcha. Okay. I have pictures to watch. Got it. Yeah, sure. The cone area is where we go. I don't know if you guys want to. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I see. Um, I know you have quite a, a large piece of property, however. Yeah, we're next to the 150 acre farm. Right, um, you guys. Uh, Corbin farm. Right, your, your parcel's just shy of 11 acres, I believe, right? right? right. And it's next to, so you got well, the guy next door, I think is 88 acres on He's the one side. Right. And, yeah. right. Um, so, I know it's unfortunate, is it your, your son is actually the property owner? Yes. Is that, yes. He's going to be here tonight. Because, uh, you know, in, in reading the variance, right? Uh, again, I'm not, I can speak for myself, and the board can speak for themselves mm -hmm. as well. However, the, the variance that he's requesting is tremendous, right? It's nearly five times what's permissible by the town, right? So, understandably, then it's yeah. very difficult, right, for the for the board to actually grant the variance of that magnitude. I mean, we do do site visits, and you know, to see exactly what's going on, because some properties are unique in, in nature which uh, and, and may create some leniency. However, you know, the, the one, again, that he's, he's requesting is just is very, very large. And it would be very difficult for this board to even entertain, you know, that type of variance. Mm -hmm. I, I, my, my suggestion would be is to maybe come back with us in a scaled down version of the footprint. You know, because you're, you're looking for 3,200 square feet where the town Really, the, the town reached 600 square feet, right? Yeah, because you know, he thought of it because of the area. Huge. Yeah. And, and totally understand, you know, yeah. he has, you have a big piece Wasn't of property. To be, you know. Right, however, that is a huge footprint, you know, bigger than most homes in the town, right? So, I, I mean, we, we can schedule a site visit for Saturday, however, uh, I'm sorry, that same Saturday that we were going out to the other gentleman mm -hmm. before you on the 14th, ha however, you know, I, I don't know at this point if it's even uh, you know worth us worth us worth us doing that. Uh, Maybe you could it, uh, evaluate it and decide what size I, he should apply for. I, I, if I, you do decide, visit. I, I think you know we you know just the town code mm -hmm. is 600 square feet. But right. yeah. you know again, there's a, some extenuating circumstances. Some properties like the gentleman you know, before tonight had a unique property mm -hmm. shape. So we do, you know, have some leniency, like I said, but he, he's way out there, right, with the 3,200 feet. I, well, this I has been his dream, you know, so it's right. So, you know, he so would, he yeah, would there's to, any way know, possible to shrink it, you know, substantially, you know, something yeah. somewhere around or about 600 feet, which I know is a lot smaller than he is uh, even remotely thinking about. But but that that's where our head would our heads would be at. Well, he has a deposit, so he doesn't want to lose that too. On um, uh, the barn. Yeah. So. All right. 
Okay. Well, well, what is his, uh, his intended use of this size barn? Is he looking to farm the property? Is yeah, that... yeah, he has tra two tractors, a uh, uh, hay baler, you know, stuff like that. This is, uh, you know. The other uh, structure is a chicken coop. It's a small chicken coop. Do you have any, you don't have any idea what the footprint of that is? That's about, what, there's a run, uh, just, you know, screened, and I think it's about four by six, the chicken coop itself. And there's an existing, existing barn on the site also, right? That's, yeah, there used to be a horse barn, yeah. Okay, well, what, what, That was granted. That okay, one. is that barn not going to be used for storing equipment anymore, or is that going to be it's something else? It's not conducive to that because it was a horse barn, you know. But you're renovating. How big? Well, your son is renovating. Yeah, he's renovating. Yeah, just to make it, you know, clean it up because the wood was starting to rot. Right. You know, so how big is that? How big is that? Do you know how big that is, the footprint? Not, not offhand, no. So besides then, to the, the area of the variance, right, and there's also the uh, multiple buildings or structures that he's also looking yeah, to have and keep on guess. the building. Yeah. I, I, I think uh, the best advice I would, I would say is to uh, don't go any further with the deposit. <laughs> and also, uh, you know, maybe come back to us with something a little bit more reasonable. You know, Can and, you give uh, me a ballpark? Uh, <laughs> for, for, for a small footprint, like you said, the, you know, the town, you know, code reads 600 square feet. That's you know, and 30, again, yeah. some, some properties yeah. are getting unique and we, we have some flexibility, but we don't like to go much further beyond that. But again, I know it's much smaller than he's looking to build. But I, I would suggest that. I, I don't know if the guys, uh, if a site visit at this point is even warranted, I, I, I would think that maybe if the, the applicant were to come back with a, a, you know, a different type of a footprint, we could get a better idea of what he wanted to do, then maybe the site, site visit would be prudent. But at, at this point, I don't know if we really need to go out. You I know, think you're right. Uh, well, we, we need to have some if go out, more understanding now rather, uh, before we visit the place. site. Yeah, I don't know what the yeah. site visit does for us. I mean, it's clear it's a big open property, yeah. and, you know, yeah. and, but you know, there's right. not a unique condition that you're working around that, that means you have to have this variance outside of the desire to have a very large structure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. just the, what the equipment requires and stuff. I don't think it will hurt to go look at it, Pete. Um, at least we'll have, then we don't have to go again once we have something that we could work with. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it, you guys, if you think it's, it's you know. I, mean, I think, yeah. I think we need to know also the second barn, what is in fact of what size it is. I, I, I just think it's so outside the realm of reality that yeah. it would be more productive. If we knew exactly what was yeah. going there. Yeah, I tend to agree. You know, yeah. that I, I think that if we, once we have a better idea of what, yeah, you know, what's what, real, that's you what know, we would appreciate. That, 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 that yeah. we would, you know, would come out to the property. Mm -hmm. you know, to go out now really is, is not, not uh, a prudent thing to do, I don't think. I mean, I understand. I mean, we're eventually mm. going to get to the property, mm. Tom, but I mean, not knowing what we're exactly we're going to have there. No, we'd have to go with whatever, you know. Uh, yeah, if we, we could get maybe another 10 feet each way, you know, that would be fine, whatever uh, is possible. Do you have any property line issues? I know you have 11 acres. I mean, you, it's towards the back of the property, but I don't know. No, where. there's none. No. You're not close? No, to the, the neighbor line. knows next door to. Uh, like I said, the farm is on the other side, and the pasture fields are yeah, right. go way in. The question, sir, is yeah. when it, where it's being proposed, is it at least 50 feet oh, yeah. from we had either given, side we, and the rear? We measured everything and gave it. What's the height of the building? Well, I, from Mixing. what I understand, it can only be 20 feet higher. From the center. From the center. Maximum well, height. From the medium of the roof. Yeah. So, so hit if you're looking at Right. So it's 20. not the peak. It's down, so I think we were told to the peak is 23 feet. To the peak, so it, it will work with the height. Mm -hmm. the, height will, the height will work. Okay, it's within yeah. the code. So we're willing to work with the, you know, of course we're willing to work with you. Right? He'd like to get this done, you know, because they're on a time schedule. There's so many things being built now, and they're so busy, you know. So no, I, I would I, appreciate you coming out and then we, we could I, I, maybe solve it then at that point. I, I, I totally understand, you know, that there's on the time constraint and, and, and building materials are a commodity. Up. <laughs> you know, these uh, prices and availability, I know, are very difficult. I know. Mm -hmm. But like, like David was saying, you know, the, the, the requested size of the building is so far out well, there. That's, that, 
So I'd like you to come, and then we could say, okay, you're you not even close. Give us an approximate, and we'll go with that. I have no choice. In terms of the size, Barbara, Right, it has a lean to it off the off one side also. Which is adding, so we need that dimension as so well. So it's not 40 by 80, it's well, the 52 lean, by uh, 80. The overhang is 12 feet. Yeah, but if, for, for our purposes, it would be a 52 by 80 length. structure. It would run so the length of the entire structure. 12 by 40. Yeah. Whatever the, yeah. So that's even adding to the square footage. And just for the record, the size of the property is, in a sense, immaterial. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have a lot of acreage, but that's not what the issue is. The yeah, issue I is understand. the size. That's why I'd like to come out and maybe we could, you know, figure out to make it feasible. Is the property, uh, I know you, you said your son wants to farm it. Is that, he wants to do it for a living or no, that's no, just it's a gentleman type yeah, farmer? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's really like 4,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like so, we're, 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 we're really not even close <laughs> to, no, where, but then, to where it needs to be. That's why I said if you could come yeah. out, we could, you know. I would be appreciated so we could, you know, to you guys. Do we know the size of the second barn? No. Uh, no, I have to. It was in the original permanent, I think. Yeah. I can yeah. get that for you. Okay. Yeah. We have a, that, he has an open permit for the renovation. Right. Yeah. So he's renovating now. I, I mean, guys, I mean, we, we could come take a look at it on, you know, that, that Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, you know, we're, we're, we're really, we're miles apart from well, where we need to be. To, you know, yeah, so I don't know if it will resolve the issue That's the only way come to out do it. see so it. If you say, okay, you got to stay with 20 by 30, or maybe we can do 10 feet more on each side, you know, we'd be happy with that. <laughs> That's why I figured we could resolve it at that point. All right. So why don't we do the site visit? We'll do the site visit on the 14th. Okay. I'm All okay right. with that. Yeah, yeah we'll do I, the appreci site. I appreciate it. Yeah, we'll yeah. do the site visit on the 14th. We'll be there approximately yeah. 9. I'm sorry. It's the 11th, right? Yeah. 11th, right? I'm sorry, the 11th. 11th. I'm sorry. The site visit will be on the 11th, approximately 9:30. All right. We'll schedule a public hearing as well. We'll schedule a public hearing for the 14th. Okay. Okay. I appreciate it. And, yeah. and you'll be there. So we'll be there approximately 9:30 on the 11th. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Sure. You yeah. Uh, just wait, before we go, yes. you're scheduling the public hearing for the 3,680 square feet? We cannot no. do that. We cannot okay. do that. I would recommend yeah. that you wait and have him come back on the 14th as, as a discussion yes. and get to something that you're willing to work I, with I or agree. not. You, know, just, you may not grant it at I all. Agree. Yeah, okay. so we'll be on for discussion then on the 14th. So after that, that correct. Tuesday, we'll go for the discussion. That's okay. correct. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. See you then. Thanks, Barbara. Okay. Thanks, everybody. All right. Hey, Barb. Anybody want to say anything? If we close the meeting, I have to ask you a question. Sure. Yeah, after we close. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any further business this evening? Can I have an ad a motion, please, to adjourn? I make a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. We are adjourned. Thanks. Thank you, everybody.